Hey, what's going on? This is Marcus Murray. I'm here with my lovely wife. Shire Murray. And we would like to welcome you to part two of our Black, Married, and Debt-Free Emergency Savings video series. In this particular video, we're gonna be sharing with you exactly how much you'll need to save for emergencies. We'll be sharing our thoughts on the subject as well as the rationale behind it. Stay tuned. So saving for a rainy day is not a new concept. And as we began to prepare for this video, I started thinking about the movie Soul Food from the 90s. Yeah. I might have just aged myself a little bit, but that movie just followed the journey of a family. And as with many families, they had their ups and their downs, their joys, they had their disagreements, and they also had their share of money problems. But I really like the end of the movie and their kind of grand finale scene. Do you remember what happened? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. There was a big argument festering and brewing in the dining room, but in the kitchen, a small fire had started. Yes. And during the midst of the chaos of the fire, you know, they were putting the fire out and Uncle Pete. Remember Uncle Pete? Uncle Pete came downstairs. Uncle Pete had not been out of the room in years, but he came downstairs and he was holding this television and he startled everyone. So when they saw him come, they sprayed him with the fire extinguisher. Yes. That caused him to drop the television and once he dropped the television on the floor out came all of big mama's stash of money her stash of cash yeah, her emergency savings so in discovering big mama's stash of cash it didn't solve all of their problems but it definitely helped the situation and one of the financial issues that rose to the surface during the movie they were able to take care of that because they had the funds to do it you know when we began our journey to debt freedom we made it a priority to have a little something tucked away into our sock drawer savings account, as we like to call it. And although we were not completely out of debt, we had this reserve set aside just in case of an emergency. So what we want to do now is share with you exactly how much you may need to put away for your family's emergency savings. A recent survey by the Pew Charity Trust found that the average cost of an emergency experienced by families was $2,000. The survey also found that households with higher incomes typically experience higher costing emergencies. So more money equaled higher costing problems. So for households bringing in $25,000 or less annually, we recommend you save $1,000 for your emergency savings. For families bringing in $25,000 to $50,000 annually, we recommend you have an emergency savings of $2,000. For households making between fifty dollars and $85,000, we recommend that you save $2,500. And for those families making $85,000 or more, we recommend that you save $3,000 towards your emergency savings. So you want to make sure that before you put any extra towards your debts, that you save this emergency savings. And we know that on a personal level because recently we had to dip into our emergency savings because somebody caused an accident. Huh? <laughs> no, everybody was okay. It was yeah. definitely a fender bender, but it cost us a couple thousand dollars to get the repairs needed to our vehicle. So it's definitely important to make sure that this area of your finances is covered. And I know that we gave a few of our recommendations and you may be thinking, oh my goodness, how in the world am I going to do that? How am I going to save that amount of money? And we want you to stay tuned because we have some great tips and some strategies on how to make that goal doable. So hang in with us and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.